Once upon a time, prime numbers were only interesting to number theorists. These days, they are very practical because they are absolutely essential for digital security. One of the most important aspects of cryptocurrency is the security of one's personal private key. For modern crypto systems, the secret private key is used to generate a public key, which is necessary for secure transactions to be made. Let's take a moment to celebrate the mathematical dance of prime numbers that makes all of this work. The machinery of crypto systems is complicated and seemingly arbitrary, but if we can come to appreciate the mathematical beauty at its core, it might help make it a little more understandable. The positive integers are more than just a long string of numbers. They have a lot of internal pattern. As you know, a prime number has no divisors other than one and itself. Consider the number 12, which is a highly composite number. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 as its divisors. It's flanked by twin primes, 11 and 13. We can see a symmetrical pattern here that looks the same for all twin primes. But this is just one interesting pattern. There are many more prime number patterns worth exploring. One of the most basic functions used in cryptography is the multiplication of two large prime numbers. The product of any two prime numbers is called a semi-prime. It's easy to generate a semi-prime, but if I were to show you a large semi-prime and didn't tell you its divisors, it would be difficult for you to guess what those two divisors are. Of course, um, in crypto systems, we're talking really huge honking prime numbers. Taking this to another level, crypto systems use modular arithmetic, sometimes called clock math. It may not be immediately apparent what time it'll be exactly 37 hours from now. Prime numbers play an important role in modular arithmetic. It's fun to see the patterns of prime numbers as the number line is wrapped around an Archimedean spiral and coiled more tightly. We can also take exponential jumps around a clock for even more scramble power. If you think it's difficult to guess what time it would be exactly 37 hours from now, imagine trying to guess what time it would be if you jumped around the clock 37 times, but each jump was longer than the last one. If those exponential jumps correspond to the square of each integer, then the perfect squares line up and some cool prime patterns pop out. But there's more. Many crypto systems use elliptic curve cryptography, which takes these concepts to yet another level. The elliptic curve lives in two dimensions, and thus it provides higher dimensionality for encrypting information. So how does it work? Well, in the practical world of wallets and transactions, it doesn't matter. In principle, you could come up with an arbitrary algorithm, a black box, that takes in a number and spits out a new number, such that it is nearly impossible to guess what the input was. The original elliptic curve looks like this, but instead of being continuous and smooth, using real numbers, it uses discrete points that fall on a grid, because we're using integers here. Without going into detail, the special properties of elliptic curve math determines the chaotic journey as the numbers jump around from point to point, resulting in a final number. Now, because the elliptic curve uses modular arithmetic, it actually wraps back onto itself. There's a cool way to visualize this on a torus. The torus provides another way to understand modular arithmetic as it applies over two dimensions. So now we see that as these numbers dance along the curve, they're actually traveling around on the surface of a torus. Cryptocurrency is wildly complex. It may take some time for the techniques and language surrounding crypto systems to settle into a form that makes it easier to understand and explain. Meanwhile, we can devise ways to visualize the mathematical dynamics at its core. This video is just an impressionistic glimpse into some of the math that goes on inside. The revolution has begun. We really need to understand this stuff. In a sense, you could say we're all becoming prime numbers. Let's have some artistic fun with it. Who knows, maybe we'll come up with a few insights along the way.